What's up everyone? It's Submotion Derby for Life. I I haven't made a video in a long time, guys. Uh, the last video that I made was the uh, giveaway video. Uh, if you haven't checked that video out yet, definitely do so. Um, uh, that giveaway will be happening here in June. Uh, I did have some, some uh, stuff come up. I don't know exactly what's going to happen, uh, but I will keep you guys updated. But the giveaway for right now is still happening. Um, but anyways, guys, this is going to be an update video on a derby car that I built. Um, it's basically done. Uh, there's still a couple minor things to do, but nothing really, nothing really to worry about. Um, so you guys ready to see what we've got built here? I got myself my Lumina built guys. Uh, we actually just got me and my helper actually got this thing painted just just right now uh we still need to do a design on it yet um but for now it's purple and gold and i think this thing looks actually pretty sweet um so uh this is going to go to a bone stock show within the next week here um there isn't really uh um too much that i could do to it um i'm allowed to weld a different bumper on um which this is actually an aluminum bumper guys i'm gonna i'm just testing the water see how it does um if it breaks apart falls off right away then i know there's no point in using the other aluminum bumpers that i have they might be okay for using in the backs but i've seen aluminum bumpers do actually fairly good guys in a derby so i'm just gonna test my luck and see what it does uh, this is like i said this is a bone stock show i'm either allowed you could run the stock bumper a uh like a, a tube which probably would have been my best option but i don't have anything really laying around right now um or you can run a 80s bumper uh no 70s bumpers in the rolls so anything 80s um if i had some steel bumpers i would definitely use it but I'm just going to test my luck and see how it goes. Um, saying this, um, this being a softer bumper, I don't know if it'll stay on. I have it bolted on, kind of. So I don't know how it's going to go. If it falls off, it falls off. But um, I'm allowed one strap um, from the top. Well, basically anywhere on the bumper. It could have been on the bottom or top. So I went on the top, put the strap on the metal part of the bumper so i'm assuming that's going to hold it on or at least help hold it on and then i got a big plate on on the bolted on and it's welded to the to the frame and this frame is actually not the greatest but it should be okay um so you're allowed six spots of nine wire on the hood or chain which i'm going nine wire um i find nine wire um, it does a lot better and then you're allowed any any tires any kind of tires and i got some skiddies on here that i had laying around so got those on so i'm pretty stoked on to see how these do uh allowed i think i'm allowed three per door seam so one two three technically four and then two here but i think they'll let those two go um I'm, i didn't do any here just because that's a headache and if i could have i would add a couple um welds just two little spots just to hold that on but i'm just gonna nine wire there call it good got my donuts in the back um i'm trying this um the rules are very vague you're allowed well six for the trunk and i got this all nine wired so the frame was going down so what i did is i made a notch right about in here and there so i got it bent up and then to release um any tension for it to go down again i put a crease in the trunk lid so i'm hoping what happens is when it comes in it packs right at that seam it's probably going to block my view a little bit but um what i'm hoping is it will pack in and just stay at that point but this back end is actually pretty rotten so what i'm hoping is it bends in there and then it goes right where it's rotten so basically this will 
come up and then it'll drop down there. I hope that that happens because um, on the last like few Luminas that I've ran, these tires come right inside. Uh, these door seams pull apart and whatnot. But how I have my nine wire, which this one's actually tight. Don't worry, guys. I got this one tight. So what I'm hoping is this will keep this seam together and keep that keep that tire from coming in. But we will see. Um, got my cage in here. I do have a, a bar on the outside over there. And then I got this welded here pretty good. And then I got a bar coming from there all the way to here to this seam. And what I did is I jammed this pipe right inside that door seam there. And it's right up against this pillar area. And oh, I mean, it looks normal on the outside, but when you come into here, this is all the way across. This is all welded in, shouldn't go anywhere. So, cause the last time I ran a no bar here, I just left that seat there. Um, someone hit me and that door came in quite a ways and I yeah, got a little, um, a little soily in my pants. <laughs> I cut my bumper. I cut my bumper in half. Uh, that will help help the uh, the this from going down again. I might suck that um, center tire up and in, but for now I'm just gonna leave it. But I got this all cut off so that way if I get hit, at least one side will roll in, then the other side will roll in. Nine wires all nice and tight. As you can see, I got, got my bar right here. Um, it's welded on, shouldn't go anywhere, hopefully. I At least I got something to protect myself. Another donut on the back. Um, nothing, it's not a very spectacular build. The only thing that I did to really modify it was I built my own, own, own exhaust. Um, this just took a little time to do a little engineering and just trying to figure out how things are going to work. Um, so what I had to do is, as you can see down in there, right at that pipe there, um, that's a cap for part of the exhaust. And then I built another exhaust off of the actual header here and then have it coming up and out of the hood. It's away from everything. Um, I'm hoping everything will kind of stay away and not burn or melt or whatever. All my wiring, I got kind of moved going up and out that way. Um, sad to say here is that this thing will not run water. Um, I got a head, head, gasket, head gasket go out. Um, but I've been running it hot and it seems to still be doing okay. Um, I don't know how it's going to do in the derby. It, it might lock up. It might freaking fall apart, but we'll see. I just plan on going full bore, letting everything go out there, lay it on the wall, and just freaking send it. Um, I'm not planning on holding back. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do something here. But this was a pretty quick, easy, fast build, just like the splatter paint lumen over there. Um, which actually the majority of that stuff is in here. Um, only thing that's not in there, or I did a little different. So these are basically the same kind of builds. The only difference is um, I just switched up a couple things. Like I ran the stock bumper on that one, the frame's straight on that one yet. And I'm putting a little bit heavier bumper on this one. Um, we'll see if the frame stays straight. And this one's actually a lot more rotten compared to that one. Um, and I don't think I notched that one. I think I let that one go. I just cut the trunk lid. Um, so I notched this one and then put a crease. So we'll see how that goes. Um, kind of testing the waters with different, different ideas, different ways. Um, this one's a lot more rotten though. So I'm not too optimistic about it. I'm leaving the seat, other seat in there just to have extra protection, I guess. Um, from anything kind of coming across. I'm, maybe they'll let a passenger come along. We'll see. <laughs> but, um, oh, and something else that I'm trying different. Instead of doing my normal uh, re-rod or whatever, 
I found these str straps in a basically a garbage bin, and I they they looked like they were aluminum, but they I mean they welded right on. So I'm gonna test my luck with with uh, how these are gonna go. Um, I think they're they look a lot better and they look a lot cleaner. So I I got a whole freaking stack of them there. So if I have to, I, I mean I cut these out and use them in the next one, but. We'll see how it goes. But I'm pretty stoked, guys. This car looks awesome. I um, haven't decided what I, what exact theme I'm going to go. But I'm rocking the new roof sign. This, this car looks awesome, guys. I'm so stoked. But thank you guys for watching all my videos. I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, hit, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button if you're new to this channel. We'll catch you guys all in the next video.